you move into the next area. And that is, you are to think of yourself as an instrument of this divine oneness. Not to use the presence to get what you want. God is not a conveyor belt that brings you stuff. God is not your servant. In the feeling tone of oneness, you make yourself available and you say in substance, I want to be an instrument of the qualities of oneness. I want to be an instrumentality of this dynamic presence. So I'm not here to use God. I'm here to be used by the presence, which throws me open in an unlimited kind of way so that the one presence, which is love, the one presence, which is elegance, the one presence, which is beauty, the one presence, which is abundance, the one presence, which is intelligence, gets to live through me. Here am I. So as you're moving through, walking on the planet, Moving through seemingly an unfree world, you're asking, let me see the one face of God and let that one face of God, the one dynamic of God, the one presence of God. And remember, we're not talking about an anthropomorphic man in the sky that's dishing out blessings. We're talking about a presence that's never an absence, that's alive with itself, that's everywhere in its fullness, not mocked by time, not hindered by, by experience or perception. God is always God, forever being itself totally and completely, and that we're saying, here am I, Ye reveal yourself through and as me today, as I walk upon this planet. Let me be a blessing. Let me be an opening. Let me be the instrument through which the song is sung and the dance is danced. Let me be available. In that moment, the resistance uh, to the good that is everywhere presence dissolves because I'm not trying to use God to get anything. I'm making myself available for that which is already here to become visible through me. Do you understand what I just said? Yes. I'm not using the presence to get anything. I'm, I'm making myself available to make what is already here visible. Let abundance be visible through me. Let beauty be visible through me. Let joy be visible through me. Let intelligence be visible through me. I know it's already here. I live in a field of oneness. I live in a field of unity. I'm communing with it. Let it show up as my life. It's already here. It's already here. I'm available. Say, I am available. I'm, available. I'm, open. I'm open. I yield. I, yield. I, surrender. I surrender. I allow. I'm available to more good than I can imagine. I'm available to more, I'm available to more beauty than I can imagine. I'm available, I'm available to more abundance than I can imagine. I'm available to more, I'm available to more power than I can imagine. I'm available to more power. And it's happening through me right now. Right now. Look at your neighbor and touch them and say, Tag, you're it. Touch your other neighbor, tag, you're it. The, the universal presence and the outpicturing of divine order through the cosmos and the universe and the galaxies are saying, we be we, you must now be you. Tag, you're it. You are the living personification of the universal presence, God becoming conscious of itself as your life. Step up into the higher frequency and be free in a seemingly unfree world. And then thirdly, being free in an unfree world means that you cannot take ignorance personally. You cannot take ignorance personally. Throughout the ages, ignorance has been called by many names. Ignorance has been called the devil. Ignorance has been called Satan. Ignorance has become, been called the carnal mind. Ignorance has been called mortal mind. Ignorance has, has, has been given to ego. Ignorance has been given all kinds of names, and many people wear the face of ignorance. They personify it. Uh, they have not yet dug deep enough into their own soul to see that they're not only connected to the divine presence, but they're connected to the divine presence within every being on the planet, every life form, including the planet itself. And when ignorance runs amok, when we're not rooted in the oneness of the presence of God, we take it personally. We take uh, ignorance personally. Ignorance is doing something to me. No, ignorance is just doing ignorance. <laughs> and it's doing ignorance wherever it is doing ignorance. If you just happen to be there, you get the ignorance on you. But it has, has nothing to do with you. 
Ignorance isn't being ignorant to you. Ignorance is just ignorance. It's ignoring. Ignorance is ignoring the presence of God, consciously or unconsciously. We can't take it personally. If we take it personally, we magnify the ignorance. If we take it personally, we amplify it. We resist it. We get mad at it. We're upset with it. We do all manner of things with it, and all it does is feed the fire of the unholy. It feeds the fire of ignorance. And once you don't take it personally, you just say, oh, there goes ignorance. It's masquerading as hate. It's masquerading as a disenfranchisement. It's masquerading as separation, fear, doubt, and worry. It's running amok. That individual happens to be unconscious, and so they're giving vent to ignorance. They're giving vent to the thought forms of separation. They're giving vent to the thought forms of not enoughness. We, we, we don't take it personally. The moment we depersonalize it, we're able to separate ignorance from the human being. And when we separate ignorance from the human being, our consciousness of oneness then provides a catalyst for a healing, which means a revelation of what's really underneath the ignorance, which is fear. And the dissolution of ignorance begins to little by little by little take place. We cannot take ignorance personally, even though as we look upon this unfree world, it's running amok. In high places, it's, 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 it's running amok in high places, but we don't take it personally. We have to understand that individuals who are under the aegis of ignorance are in deep pain and a deep fear. And you can always tell because they act like bullies. <laughs> Whenever a person is in deep fear or a, 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 the bully comes out, a sense of false bravado. And so we step back and we come back to our universal principles. How do we become free in an unfree world? We embrace unity. One, one, one. We embrace, I am an instrument. I'm available. I'm not trying to make anything happen. I'm making that which is already happening in the mind of God welcome. I am welcoming that which is already here. Therefore, I become impervious to where ignorance has, has a stronghold in anyone. I do not lower my frequency to hating the person. I dislike the ignorance, but I hold the vibration so that I'm untouched by ignorance. It can't touch me because my vibration is too high. It, I, it can't get to me because I'm in the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty. Hurt, harm, nor danger can come nigh my dwelling place. I can't be touched there. And then I just don't take it personally. I said, oh, ignorance is running amok. Oh, ignorance is running amok. I can see it, but I'm not participating in it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not participating in it. I bless. I bless. I bless. 